Praise God, friends. God bless you. God bless you. Who is ready for this exciting time? Amen. Friends of God, let me know where you were watching from. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here. I'm so happy to see you. I've missed you. I love all of you, but I'm excited to get into this word, to begin to prophesy over you uh, about what you can expect for this month of March. This is going to be an incredible month. Uh, do you believe it? We're already in the month of March. Time is moving by so fast. So friends of God, I want you to begin to log on, comment below where you are watching from, share this on your wall and tag somebody because the man of God, Dr. Ben Lim is in the house. And I'm telling you, this month is going to be full of miracles, signs, and wonders. This month is going to be full of the glory of God. So comment below where you're watching from. And I want to give you some shout-outs, amen? And obviously, uh, I'm sure you can see that uh, I'm kind of in a new backdrop set. And uh, we are building out our studio here. Uh, of course, if you've been following me, uh, we just moved into a new studio office space. And we're preparing ourselves for greater harvest, more production, and to have uh, greater uh, exclusive content for you because we want to be more effective at all spheres uh, that the Lord has entrusted to us. Amen. So uh, this is kind of a working set here, uh, but we are building it out still in Jesus' name. So friends, let me know where you are watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. Who's excited for the month of March? Are you ready to celebrate? Because this truly is a month of celebration. It truly is a season of great victory. Someone say amen. So uh, let me know where you are watching from. Comment below. Praise God. Let me give you some shout outs here. Hello there. Melissa, thanks for tagging. Thank you for being a subscriber. Amy, watching from Long Beach. Hello there, Catherine from Grand Junction. One of my favorite places. Praise God. Thank you, Kristen, for all of the tags. And thanks for being a subscriber. Springfield, Missouri, in the house. South Africa, Durban. Amen. Hello there, Apostle Barbara. Hello there, Melissa Filler. I am going to be with you and Rob <laughs> this week in Arizona. Uh, do you see a smile on my face? I can't wait for that. So it's going to be a wonderful time in Arizona. And I believe in that uh, the sun's going to be shining. Amen. Hello there, Tim. Good to see you, my friend. Linda Kilpatrick. Good afternoon from Florida. I just came from Florida. I ministered in Sanford, Orlando uh, the, the last two days, Friday and Saturday. Hello there, Aaron Archer. Becky Weaver, good to see you. Alicia Jackson, shalom to you. Hello from Oklahoma, D.C., Vanessa Alexandria. Chandler, Arizona, we hope to see you this weekend. Hello there, Robert Michael. Glory, glory, glory. Continue to comment below where you are watching from, friends. Hallelujah. Are you excited for what God's about to do? in this month of March. In fact, February to April, this is like one of my favorite seasons because from February to April, uh, you got Purim and you have Passover. So this is a real supernatural window, which we're going to get into right now because we are actually in 40 days of miracles. I want you to comment 40 days of miracles. We are in a window and in a season of 40 days of miracles from Purim to Passover. And literally, we're just one week away from Purim, which is one of my favorite feasts and one of my favorite appointed times. Some would say appointed times because God has appointed, assigned, and aligned a specific grace for your life. And that's what the appointed times are. That's what the dates are of God's are the timelines of Jesus. Amen. And so Purim to Passover, we are in a 40-day window right now of miracles. So I want to talk to you about what the Lord is doing and what you can expect. But I feel the Lord. I feel the Holy Ghost. My goodness. So continue to comment below where you are watching from. And now we are broadcasting live on Facebook and YouTube. So I want to welcome our YouTube family. Amen. I want to welcome our Facebook family, glory be to God. And I want to welcome all of you. Continue to share and comment below in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Shatarabaka. Where you are watching from, we we have a few watching here on YouTube. So we're going to keep building up our YouTube audience. But I'm very impressed because it looks very crisp right now. 
Hello there, Jin Kyung, watching from YouTube. Thank you, Jin Kyung, for being a subscriber as well. Jurgen Meyer, Child of Most High on YouTube. Angela Joel, yes, 40 Days of Miracles. Watching from the DR Dominican Republic. Come on, somebody. That's Eloisa Nowak, Marisha Reigns. Yes, Lebon Taledi from South Africa. God bless you. Wendy Acosta, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Arthur Parker from H-Town, Texas. Wow, Northeast India. Amen to that. Well, praise God, we got an international family jumping in. Somebody say, March is my month of mega miracles. I want you to say that. The month of March is my month of mega miracles. Now, I want you to lift up your hands because I'm going to begin to go into uh, what you can expect for this month. And if you follow me, you know that I've been prophesying and teaching with prophetic insider revelation on the months and the times and seasons of God. Because God is raising up sons and daughters of Issachar so that we will understand the times and seasons of the Lord. Amen. So that we will understand how God is moving and operating because every season requires a different strategy and every season releases a different type of harvest. And I believe in the month of March, this is a month of mega miracles. If you believe it, say amen. So Lord, I thank you for every single person that's watching now. And I thank you, Lord, for every hungry heart that this month of March, we are truly going to march forward, that there's going to be great miracles. And I thank you, Father, for mega momentum and movements upon their lives in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, say amen. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. Now, friends, continue to give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall because one of your favorite prophetic voices, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, is in the house. And let me tell you, friends, the glory of God has truly been increasing. Uh, I just came back from Florida, and this week I will be in Arizona. But I want to talk to you about this month of March. If you're with me today, someone say amen. Hallelujah. Continue to tag somebody and share this on your wall. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Now, the month of March is a month of great celebration. I want you to say celebration. Because this is a month of Purim. In fact, Purim is going to be this coming Sunday and Monday. A Monday and Tuesday, excuse me. But this month of March coincides with the Feast of Purim. Now, Purim is not one of the seven biblical feasts. Now, why is that important to know and to notice? Because it's not one of the seven biblical feasts. However, it is an appointed time and it is an appointed feast. It is a supernatural time where the Lord begins to move. And the Lord commands and instructs the Jewish people to commemorate and to remember that uh, Purim and what God did. Now, why is this important? Because this is a season where God raises up the underdogs. I want to say underdogs. Shakaraba is not one of the underdogs. Uh, is one of the underdogs. Excuse me. And this is a season where God raises up the underdogs. He raises up the nameless and the faceless. It's not a coincidence that we saw the revival at Asbury. And now it's spreading out all across America and all across the earth. Amen. We truly are in the middle of a great awakening. Now, Purim is the feast where the lots are overturned. Now, what is a lot? A lot means the allotment of the Lord or your selection or your future. In the olden days, and still in many cultures today, what they'll do is they'll cast lots. You see, they casted lots for the 12th apostle to replace Judas. And of course, the lot fell upon Matthias instead of justice. So they would cast lots, and that would be the divine leading of the Holy Ghost of what to do. I feel the Lord right now. 
Now, this is a decision-making time. And this is a season where God is casting the lot of his favor upon your life. He is looking upon you. He is turning his face towards you. And the lot of favor is being allotted to you. If you believe that, say amen. So this is a season where the lots are being overturned. Now, Esther had a wrongful lot. There was a wrongful, unjust, unjust, excuse me, uh, unjust assignment against her life. But the Lord overturned it. So this is a season of overturning and divine reversals. I want you to say that. Overturning and reversals. This is a season where God's going to begin to overturn and reverse every curse and every assignment and wicked arrow that was shot against you in Jesus' name. Purim comes from the root word pur. Now, what does that mean? That means decree. I want you to say decree. Now, the Bible says, decree a thing and it shall be established. I'm telling you, friends, God is about to overturn and reverse some false decrees that have been spoken over your life. Even now, I feel the power of God. In the courts of heaven, the Lord of hosts is about to overturn and reverse some things in your life. That doctor's report, that slander, that curse word is going to be broken and overturned in Jesus' name. You will prosper. You will be blessed. You will increase. This is your month of mega miracles. But we understand the story of Esther. And of course, even with the story of Esther, we see the most famous passage, Esther chapter 4, verse 14. Hallelujah. Esther 4, 14, we see where the Lord begins to speak to Esther and say, if you keep silent at this time, relief and deliverance will rise for the Jews from another place. But you and your father's house will perish. And who knows whether you have not come to the kingdom for such a time as this. I want you to say, for such a time as this, I am alive today. I'm telling you, for such a time as this, the Esthers are arising, the Mordecais are arising, and the Lord is about to expose every evil plot and plan against you. Every Haman spirit, antagonizing spirit, is going to be exposed and exterminated. And the Lord of hosts is going to bring you great victory. Someone say amen. So Purim, which is the feast of victory, a time of celebration. Purim, pur in the original word means decree. It means the decree of the king, the decree of the Lord. And I decree and I declare over you that God is going to speak a good word over your life. That this month of March, it is a month of mega miracles, of great movement and momentum. That this is a season and a month where God's going to bring great justice and vindication over your life. If you believe it, say amen. Every Haman spirit will be exterminated. And every attack of the enemy will be boomeranged and will come back on their head. So this is a month, the month of March, and it has the appointed time, the feast of Purim. And let me tell you, it's one of my favorite feasts because I love the story of the underdog. I love the story of Esther and Mordecai, and I love how God begins to show up. Are you ready for God to show up in your life? So you see, in the season of March, it coincides currently with the Feast of Esther. It coincides with the Feast of Purim, where false decrees and words are overturned. There's going to be an overturning in the government of the earth. If you believe it, say amen. Now, the month of March, in the Hebrew calendar is the month of Adar. 
I want you to say Adar. The month of Adar in the Hebrew calendar, of course, the significance is that it has the month or the Feast of Purim. And we just briefly touched on Purim and what the feast and the appointed time of Purim stands for. But Adar, the Hebrew month we are in right now, it comes from the root word Adir. I want you to say Adir, A-D-I-R, Adir. And what Adir means, it means strength and power. I want to say I'm getting my strength back. I want you to say I'm getting my strength back. This is a month of strength and power. The month of a deer is a strengthening month. It is a month of empowerment. It is a month where God begins to empower you and move you out of the cave. I'm prophesying to you. You're coming out of the cave. You are coming out of hiding. You're coming out of the wilderness. The month of a deer, Adar, the month of March right now, it is the month of strength and power. You felt weakened. You felt slow. Oh, I'm prophesying. You felt like you were behind. Even as many of us, we finished 21 days of consecration in January and February is now past. February, a month of prophecy and a month of Enoch. Amen. A month of prophetic glory and encounters. And now, boom, here we are in the month of March. And in this month, you are going to get your strength back. You are going to get your power back. I prophesy virtue is returning to you right now. Every lost and stolen virtue is returning to you in Jesus' name. So we are currently in the Hebrew month called Adar. And the root word of Adar is a deer. And a deer means strength and power. Are you ready to be strengthened? For the joy of the Lord is your strength. Now, here's the important thing, my friends. This is a month of great joy and celebration. Great joy and celebration. Are you ready to dance? I'm telling you, I'm, I'm leaping in the spirit right now. My, the, the baby of my spirit, man, is leaping right now. Because this month is a month of great celebration. And I want to go over to our key verse today, okay? Of course, I have been quoting scripture, but this is our key verse for this month. Praise God. So let's go over. <laughs> let's go over here to the book of Esther. And if you're with me, say amen. Let's go over to Esther chapter 9, verse 28. Esther 9, 28. The Bible says that these days should be remembered and kept throughout every generation and every clan, province, and city. That these days of Purim, say Purim, should never fall into disuse among the Jews. Nor should the commemoration of these days cease among their descendants. So this is a season of great celebration. This is a season of great celebration where God begins to throw banqueting parties and God begins to lavish his church, pour out his spirit. Here we see in Esther 9, verse 17, the Bible says this happened on the third, 13th day of the month of Adar. And on the 14th day, they rested, say rested, and made it a feasting, day of joy. Wow. A day of feasting and joy. Are you ready for a day of feasting and joy? So we see in Esther 9, 17, after there was victory against the Haman spirit, that spirit that was trying to kill the Jewish people, after there was victory, 
there was a reverse of the curse and there was great celebration and feasting and joy. So Adar, Adir, the month of March, this is known as a very festive month, as a month of great celebration. Now, I want you to praise God right now. Praise the Lord for the next 10 seconds because in this month of March, there's going to be great miracles coming upon your life. Come on, praise the Lord for the next 10 seconds. Shout Baba. In this month of March, we declare and we decree that all of your enemies will be scattered, that God will arise, and that there will be recompense, restoration, payback in this month of March. Let the Esthers arise. Let Mordecai be honored. Amen. And let every Haman spirit be judged in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Rababa. This is a month where God begins to distinguish you. Where God begins to commemorate you. God begins to honor you. I feel the spirit of honor come in this room right now. You see, Mordecai was honored. Mordecai was honored before all. And God is about to honor you before all. Let's go to this passage here. If you're with me today, say amen. Let's go to this passage here. Here in the book of Esther, chapter 6, verse 3. The Bible says, the king said, what honor or distinction has been bestowed on Mordecai for this? And the king's young man who attended him said, nothing has been done for him. Now, the Lord is looking for ways to bless you. God is looking for ways to bless you abundantly. And here the Bible says in Esther chapter 6, my goodness. Esther 6, verse 8, let royal robes be brought and the horse that the king has ridden, give it to him and the royal crown be given as well. And the Bible says, verse 10, then the king said to Haman, hurry, take the robes and the horse as you have said and do so to Mordecai who sits at the king's gate. So Haman took the robes and the horse. He dressed Mordecai, led him through the square, proclaiming before him, this shall be done. There was great public honor. I'm telling you, friends, this is a month where God's going to crown you, robe you, honor you, and bless you. This is the month where all the pressing, all the struggles, all the questioning is coming to an end. So get ready to celebrate. Praise God in advance. Bless the Lord in advance. Because the Lord is doing it. And he has already done it. I want to say month. I want to say the month of March is a month of mega miracles. Mega miracles. This is a month of mega miracles. If you believe it, say amen. Mega miracles, my friend, mega miracles. Now, I want to say one more thing, or maybe two more things, and then I want to give you the three prophetic points for this month. If you are enjoying the word today, say amen. Glory to God. Shatarabata. But Adar is a season, is the month of preparation, praise God, up to Nisan, which is April. And of course, we know that last week we just started Lent, 40 days of Lent. So we are in a 40-day window of miracles. Right now, 40 days of miracles. And I believe that it's going to rise and rise and increase and increase because we go from glory to glory. 
But the Bible says that this month, this feast of Purim, that the celebration and the feasting, it increases as the days go by. So Adar is the most happy month in the whole year. The most happy. Haha. <laughs> Shay. <laughs> it's the most happy month in the whole year. The joy of the Lord is your strength. So this is the happiest month. It's known as the happiest month of the whole year. Why am I sharing this? Because from Purim to Passover, from March to April, I feel the Lord. We are in a window of increasing joy, increasing miracles, increasing glory. We are in a window, a season, 40 days of increasing miracles. This is the happiest season month of the whole year. Are you ready to rule and reign? Are you ready to give God praise? Are you ready to dance before the Lord? I'm telling you, God is going to fill your mouth with great joy. You're going to bubble up with great praise and celebration. Do you know why? Because the false decrees have been overturned. Because the enemy called Haman is now judged and destroyed. Because you're coming out of hiding and out of the threshing floor. And in this month of March, you shall truly march forward. So that in Passover, April, Nisan, because in the Hebrew calendar, it's Nisan, you will cross over into the promised land. If you're ready. Say amen. If you're ready, say hallelujah. My God, I feel the glory of God. If you're feeling the Holy Ghost, I want to say amen and just pray the Holy Ghost. Amen. This is a season where God's going to release great honor, great commemoration, great promotion. Where God's going to raise many up in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Shataraba Karabrata. Shataraba Karabrata Tara. Sura Katarababa. Now I'm gonna pray for you in a little bit, but I want to give you three prophetic points for this month of March. Amen. Three prophetic points for this month of Adar, this month of mega miracles. Praise God. So the first prophetic point is celebration. This is a month of parting with the Lord. Every day, the joy increases and the empowerment of God begins to increase. So in this month, expect great celebration, great victory. There's going to be so many testimonies after testimonies that is going to blow your mind. Amen. That thing you've been dealing with is going to be judged and condemned and dealt with. That thorn in the flesh is going to get plucked out. That enemy, that slander, that Jezebel that's been attacking you is going to be dealt with this month. So get ready to testify and praise God because this is a month of great celebration. If you're ready to celebrate, say amen. So get ready to praise God because every false word and decree is going to be overturned. And as you celebrate, there's going to be an empowerment and there's going to be a lifting up of great honor. The second prophetic point you can expect, number one is celebration because of the great victories that God is giving you. The second prophetic point you can expect for this month of March of Adar Adir 
It is double honor. Come on, somebody. Someone say double honor. You see, Mordecai was singled out. And Haman tried to single out bully Mordecai. However, the curse was reversed. And Mordecai was honored. He received the king's crown, the king's robe. He received the king's horse. And there was public honor that was spoken before him as the man of God began to go throughout town. So Purim, Adar, this month of March, is about celebration. But it is also about double honor. Are you ready to receive new mantles of power? New mantles of victory? New mantles of glory? This is a month where God is going to mantle you afresh. You're coming out of the grave. You're coming out of hiding. You're coming out of the season of fasting. And you're coming out as a new creation. This month is a season where God's going to release double honor as he puts to shame all of your enemies. Now, what happens when there's double honor, friends? There's gifts, blessings. There's, <laughs> there's gifts in public. There's, there's antiquities, rarities, valuables, assets that are given. So in this month of March, wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> in this month of March, wow, wow, wow. There's going to be a transference of wealth from the wicked to the righteous. A transference of wealth from the wicked to the righteous in this month of March. If you believe it, say amen. If you receive it, say hallelujah. Now, the third prophetic point I want to prophesy over you and that you can expect in this month of March. It is mega miracles. I want to say mega miracles. Number one, great celebration. Number two, double honor. Number three, mega miracles. It, things are going to happen suddenly. Things are going to come out of nowhere and shock you and bless you. This month, there's going to be great miracles. Like I said, the thing that you've been trying to deal with is about to be dealt with. It's about to be done and finished once and for all. In these 40 days of miracles of ever-increasing joy, even from Purim to Passover, as we are in 40 days of Lent, of preparation for Resurrection Sunday, for Pesach glory, to go from Egypt into the promised land, to escape the pit of hell, to escape the spirit of death and slavery. We're in a season where God is saying, get ready for mega miracles. Miracles to overtake you in your life, your finances, your health. Some of you, you're going to go from a, being a nobody to a somebody, being a nameless and faceless to having a name and a face. Some of you, are going to go from being that orphan Jewish girl named Hadassah to becoming chosen as the powerful, beautiful Queen Esther that she always was. This is a month of mega miracles where God's going to begin to release miracles in your life like never before. If you believe it, say amen. Someone say mega miracles. Mega movement. This month, expect miracles, my friends. Miracles like never before. In your family, in your health, in your church, your finances. My goodness. Because God will elevate you. God will raise you. God will lift you. God will increase you. As you celebrate and praise. For Adir Adar, this is the month of power and strength. 
So God is going to empower you. God is going to clothe you. God is going to robe you. Shout that out. God is going to announce of who you truly are. Mordecai, Mordecai. Make way. Mordecai is coming through. The man with a plan. <laughs> the man with a solution. A woman who passed the test. Mordecai, Mordecai is coming through. Let the Esther's arise. Let Mordecai be honored. And let every Haman spirit be exterminated. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Marabosha tarabra tarabra. Zika raba. And remember, Purim. Pur means decree. Decree a thing and it shall be established. And I declare and I decree as a man of God that the Lord is going to release celebration in your life. Double honor over your family. And the Lord himself is going to release mega miracles upon you, your business and your ministry. I'm telling you, friends, this is the anointing that is made available in this month and in this season. If you believe it, say amen. Now, friends, I want you to lift up your hands. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. I pray the Lord fills you with joy. God fills you with the Holy Ghost. Let God be praised and his enemies be scattered. Now, friends, in this moment, that thing that you are believing for, that miracle, that impossible thing that you are believing for, I want you to bring it to the forefront of your mind. Now, I want you to hear this, friends. I want you to hear this. We understand that Esther came before the king. And Esther threw the king a fabulous, fantabulous banquet. And what does the Bible say? Here, the Bible says, that the king stretched out his scepter before Esther. The king stretched out his scepter before Esther. Esther 8 4. Then the king extended the gold scepter to Esther, and she arose and stood before him. Wow. And Esther says, verse 5, Esther 8, 5, If it pleases the king, she said, and if I have found favor in your sight, and the matter seems proper to the king, make a matter that an order will be written, say order, to revoke the letters that the scheming Haman wrote to destroy. If it pleases you, and if I have found favor in your sight, as the king stretches out the scepter, he's literally saying, ask me whatever you want, and I'll give you up to half of the kingdom. What do you desire? The desires of your heart. And Esther says, if I have found favor in your sight, I ask you now humbly in the courts of heaven, revoke the letters of my enemies. Are you ready for a revoking? 
<laughs> Are you ready for a returning? Are you ready for a restoration? There is a new order God's writing over your life, a new story, a new narrative, a new definition. Shaka Rabba, I prophesy over your life that you have found favor in his sight. So even now in this season of Purim, of Adar, of March, God has extended his scepter before you. And he says, daughter, son, ask me whatever you wish. Because you have found favor on my side. Because you have so undone me with your love and your extravagant worship, with your consecration, because you have blown me away by the beauty of your heart, I'm going to give you an open heavens. I'm going to give you an open check. The Lord is saying, come boldly in this moment. Come boldly. Come boldly. And Esther asked that an order will be made to revoke, reverse the curse. Friends, lift up your hands right now. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Sharababarata. Come on, begin to pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Zebaka, Zebaraboshata, Reseterabrata, Hirabakarabrata, Shandra, come on, Rababasi Karabrata, Hirarari Shata, I begin to pray in the Spirit of God. Begin to enact, enact that favor that you have before God. Thank you, Lord. If I have found favor in your sight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Shatarabha tereno no sata. Come on, lift up your hands. Oh, yeah, ba, 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 He's reversing the false decrees, the false words. And a good word, a good report will be spoken over your life. Yeah. Worthy are you, God. Are you ready for celebration? For double honor? And for mega miracles? Jesus. Jesus. <clears throat> I declare right now, you have found favor in the eyes of God. And he is extending a scepter, saying, son, daughter, ask me whatever you wish. What do you desire? I asked the Lord for a warehouse, and here we are now. <laughs> and we're building it up. What are you asking God for? Lord, if I found favor in your sight, what do you believe in God for? Lift up your hands and ask the Lord right now. Believe God from now to April, from March to April, from Purim to Passover. We are in 40 days of ever increasing joy, celebration, and miracles. If you believe it, say amen. Come on. If you believe, say amen. If you believe, say hallelujah. Are you ready to celebrate? Are you ready to celebrate? Because every Haman spirit will be judged, will be done with. Shoo! And you're coming out with a new robe, a new crown, a new horse. Ha ha. And with public honor. This month, all your enemies will be put to rest. And Purim is a day of feasting and great joy. Somebody say, I got the power. Someone say, I got the power. Now lift up your hands. Lord, I come in agreement with your children. God, I ask you that according to your word, let it be 
unto me. And I ask you, Father, that you will release an impartation, a miracle signs and wonders, that you would release a financial miracle, a miracle in their life, their family, their health, fire of God, that you would begin to reverse the curse against them, their name, their reputation, their health, their ministry, their business. I destroy every spirit of sabotage and delay. Every spirit of locusts that have been eating away at their crops. I break it now. I destroy it now. I rebuke it in Jesus' mighty name. Fire of the Holy Ghost. And Lord, I ask you, this month, do it, God. Do it, do it, do it. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. And give God some praise. Glory to God. Wow, 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 wow. Someone say it's being overturned. Somebody say it's being overturned. This month of March is a month of mega miracles. In Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. Now, friends, in this moment, as you are in the glory, in the Lord right now, I want to open up a time for you to sow and to bless the Lord. Hallelujah. If you believe, I want you to sow a seed, my friends. And listen, even if you don't sow, don't leave the broadcast. I don't know why people do that. But if you feel led to sow, I, as a child of God, as a servant of the Lord, I must give you an opportunity to be blessed and to bless God back. I must. And I'm, I'm not ashamed of that. And of course, we want to be led by the Lord. Amen. We don't do it. We don't do it ritualistically because we're not money hungry. We're hungry for God. And therefore, we open up so that people will truly reap a harvest. Now, all of you watching on Facebook, on YouTube, I want to open up a time for you to sow. And for those who want to sow, we're going to put up the link here. Amen. But even if you don't sow, please don't leave the broadcast. It's so funny. I mean, nobody has right now. Praise God for that because you listen to me. But whenever we go into the offering time, there's about 50 people who leave or 100. That's hilarious. The Lord rebuke you. <laughs> but I want you to sow a seed, my friends. And as you sow, I want you to comment Purim Power. Purim, P-U-R-I-M, Purim Power. Because remember, it's a month of joy and celebration. Adar Adir is a month of empowerment and strength. Some would say amen. So I want you to sow, my friend, and I want you to believe in the Lord. Believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. Amen. And as you sow, I want you to comment Purim Power. Purim Power. Amen. Caroline, Yolanda. The Lord is dealing with your enemies. Remember, if you have found favor in the sight of the king, the king has released his golden scepter. Come to me, says God. Ask me. Go big. Ask big. Believe big. Providence Ivana. Ghani Reddy. Marilyn Shara Barabrotata. So into this anointing, into this atmosphere, into this realm. Rachel Richardson, child of most high. Thank you, Lord. Pastor Sharon. March is a month of mega miracles, my friends. N Natalie Sanchez Martin. 
Glory to God. Anna Gabriela Derbiz, Marie Koch. Thank you, Lord. Now, I do have a few announcements to make, and I don't want you to miss it. But stay in the spirit, friends. Stay on. Because this is also worship. This is also flowing in the anointing. Come on. A month of celebration, mega miracles. Thank you, Lord. Shakarabrata Tarabrata. Thank you, Weaver. Ingrid Mohammed. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Shakarabala Rosa. Sisi, God bless you. We miss you. Sarah Vijogan. Yes, Lord. Give me 10 minutes, buddy, huh? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I knew somebody was knocking. That was not an angel. Maybe his name was Angel. Like I said, we got so much work to do. I should have locked the front door. We got so much work to do here at the studio. So into the studio, so. Barbara, God bless you. Lisa, God bless you. Now, as you continue to sow, Mary Green, God bless you. LV Kilpatrick, thank you. Seated through PayPal. Who's excited for this month? I'm telling you, Purim is one of my favorite feasts. And this is one of my favorite seasons ever. All throughout the year, honestly. But friends, I hope you're blessed. And thank you, everybody, for being a subscriber and a follower. Amy, God bless you. As you saw, I want to talk about some announcements that we have because there is a lot going on here, a lot of great things going on at Bella Ministries, but I want to talk about some announcements we have. Amen. Uh, so, yeah, next Monday we have our next Zoom webinar. And, of course, all of our Zoom webinars are free. We're going to talk about reversing the curse. We're going to talk more in depth about Purim and about the anointing of reversing curses off of your life. So next Monday will be our next free webinar on reverse the curse. And I'm telling you, friends, God's going to give you victory breakthrough financially in the court system. If you're dealing with a lawsuit or the health issue, we're going to go into the courts of heaven. And we are going to deal with every antagonizing spirit against you. Amen. So come and join us. Come and join us. So reverse the curse. All of our Zoom webinars are free. Next, my goodness, we have, wow, we have a, a Facebook, we have a broadcast with Dr. Robert Lairdon called Discerning the Times. Now, Dr. Roberts is a great friend of mine, but he's a general of the faith. And he wrote about the generals. Of course, you probably heard about the series, God's Generals. Well, Dr. Roberts and I, we're going to talk about discerning the times because there's so much going on in the world today. And we need to discern properly by, by the grace of God. We need to hear what God's saying. We need to know the report of the Lord. Not the fake news. Not the colluded, polluted. Not the biased media. 
that's all bought out by the elitists and globalists. No, we need the true word of God. So join me and Dr. Robert Salerdin as we talk about discerning the times. Amen. And I remember Chris Vallotton from Bethel Church talking about how he believes the gift of discernment is the most important gift that we need in these end times. It's not prophecy and it's not healing. So it's the gift of discernment. So join us. After that, my friends, we also have another broadcast with Evangelist John Ramirez. I'm sure many of you have heard of John Ramirez. But John Ramirez is an ex-Satanist. And John Ramirez was delivered from Satanism. Now, we are going to be having hosting John Ramirez at our church at Open Heavens World uh, in the month of April. But do you need deliverance? Do you need freedom? I'm telling you, we're the plans of the enemy are about to be exposed. And the Lord is going to deliver many. Set my, let my people go, says God. Set the captives free. So myself and Evangelist John Ramirez, we're going to do a broadcast on March 20th. Amen. March 20th. You don't want to miss it. Like I said, we are hosting John Ramirez and Jake Hamilton at our church, Open Heavens World, in the month of April. Now, we don't have the graphic and the events up yet, but it's coming this week. Amen. So join us for that, my friends. Also, this week, I'm going to be in Arizona. So come and see me. Cash me outside. I'm going to be in Arizona this week, so I would love to see you. We're going to be with Rob and Melissa Filler. And also we will be at. Uh, we will be at a wonderful church. In Mesa. Amen. So come and see me in Arizona. I cannot wait to see you. Arizona Glory Weekend. It's going to be incredible. Arizona Glory Weekend. Come and see me in Arizona. Amen. Can't wait to see you, my friends. Next, I am going to be in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Come on, somebody. What, what? East Coast. Come and see me in the East Coast. We're doing three days of 10 revivals in Lebanon, Pennsylvania. Wow. I'm telling you, friends, God's going to move so powerfully in these meetings. Honestly, God's moving so powerfully everywhere. Like, we're seeing revival. I'm... I'm talking about real spirit of revival, miracles, demons getting cast out, spirit of awakening, extraordinary creative miracles. You cannot deny it. But these meetings are going to be very special. And I feel like Amy and, and Becky, I, I feel like we got to get ready to extend. Like I'm telling you, because I feel the glory in that so strong. The glory on that so strong. So Pennsylvania, get ready, my friends. I'm telling you, get ready. We're going to shake the state of Pennsylvania. And also, I'm going to be in New Jersey that same week, just for one day, in the Atlantic City area. So I would love to see you, amen, in that area. Uh, Rabbi, my first time ministering in the Atlantic City, AC area. So that would be wonderful, New Jersey. New Jersey, glory. Impartation. Amen. Now, last but not least, before we close, join me in Hawaii. Listen, I'm bringing Dr. Roberts Lairdin over to Hawaii. And we're doing two schools, one in Oahu and one in Hawaii. Two different islands. But join me and Dr. Roberts Lairdin for these incredible deep teachings Day and afternoon, morning and afternoon, and evening. All the evenings are free. But this is going to be life-changing. Amen, life-changing. Do you need a vacation? Yes, you do. Do you want to go to Hawaii? Yes, you do. So come and join me in Hawaii and Oahu in the month of March. Amen. Myself, Dr. Roberts Lairdon, 
in beautiful Hawaii. Aloha. And you're going to be learning from me and Dr. Roberts, a true general of the faith. We're going to release teaching and impartation on the glory and on the kingdom. So come and join us. If you're in the island of Hawaii, my friends, register. And I look forward to seeing you there. Amen. Friends, I love you. Thanks for joining all of you on YouTube and Facebook today. I appreciate all of you. If you're blessed today, say amen. Thank you for joining my friends. I love all of you. If you believe in the word of the prophet, say amen. Continue to share this broadcast. And I encourage you, please follow me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. It's my great honor and privilege to be one of your favorite prophetic voices in this season and in this era. I love you, bless you. This month of March is going to be filled with mega miracles. Amen. God bless you, friends. I'll see you soon. Shalom. Thank you.